Hello students, continuing the discussion on the multiple choice questions for the forthcoming SSLC examination. As already you know that a model question paper has been there given by the authorities and accordingly here we are discussing the first unit and the second unit we have completed and now we will move to the third unit the impact of British rule in India. So this we are going to discuss here today. So I have noted eight questions here which are mainly related as per your syllabus. So we will continue the discussion there. Regulating Act was introduced in the year. Regulating Act. So this Act was introduced in the year. So the year you have to know. The choice given are 1774, 1773, 1775, 1776. So the answer is 1773 Regulating Act was introduced. So this act was introduced by the British government to bring the control over the East India Company administration in India. So with that intention it was introduced here the Regulating Act 1773. The next one, all natives of Hindustan are completely corrupt. So this is a statement. A statement that has been made by one of the Governor General. All natives of Hindustan are completely corrupt. So the question is who said this? Whether it is Wellesley, Dalhousie, Cornwallis or Warren Hastings. So the answer is Cornwallis. Cornwallis, here yeah, the Governor General. So he was the Governor General who made this statement that natives of Hindustan are corrupt. So this is the answer. There. Next, Dash Mughal Emperor granted Diwani rights to British. So Diwani rights is uh, the right of collection of the revenue. Here, yeah, this particularly right was got to the British from the Mughal Emperor. So who was the Mughal Emperor? The choice given are Shah Alam, Jahangir, Aurangzeb, Akbar. So the answer is Shah Alam. Shah Alam is the answer which has been given in your book. But students, just for your reference, it is Shah Alam the second. The Shah Alam the second. So Shah Alam was the Mughal Emperor who granted the Diwani rights to the British, that is the right of collection of revenue. That is the answer. The next one, Dash court were called as Diwani Adalat. So Diwani Adalat, which were established during the time of the Governor Generalship of Warren Hastings. So which court was called as Diwani Adalat? So the choice given are Criminal Court, Labour Court, Consumer Court, Civil Court. So the answer here is the Civil Court. Civil Court is known as Diwani Adalat. And the Criminal Court was known as the Fausdari Adalat. Labour and Consumer, these are very modern courts what we have got. Here in the recent 20th century we have got. So these were the two. During the time of war nations, Diwani Adalat was the civil court and Fausdari Adalat was the criminal court. Which are, so the, here the answer is a civil court. Next, Dash Governor General established an efficient police system. The most here, efficient police system and a police code. So rules and regulations for the working of the police department here was mainly introduced during the here, Governor Generalship of, again the answer is Cornwallis. Cornwallis. He established here the post of the Superintendent of Police. That is the SK post what we call. So it was established during the time of Cornwallis. Who was able to establish an efficient here the police system. He is known for his police reforms. That is the answer. Next, Dash established Calcutta Madras. So who was the Governor General responsible for establishing the 
Calcutta Mothers. So, Paul Valley's war residents, Dalhousie, the rest of the area given. Answer is Warren Hastings. Warren Hastings established in color here, Calcutta Mothers. So, this mainly was the beginning of the education in India. So, an initiation was taken by the Britishers to promote education in India. The Calcutta Madrasa was established during the period of Warren Hastings. Next, Dash report became the base of modern education. The report here which laid the foundation for the modern education. So, here the choice given are Charles Hunt, William Hunter, Andrew Fraser, McCoyle. And the answer is McCoyle. McCoyle report. So, or sometimes it is also called as McCoyle Minutes, who was uh, the member of the Governor General Council. And at that time, here William Bentick was the Governor General. And it was on the report of McCoyle. Here, the English education system was introduced in India, English language was introduced in India in the mainly schools and the colleges and the educational institutions and it laid the foundation for the modern education. So, it is McCoyle Report or McCoyle Minutes. So, the full name of McCoyle was Thomas Babington McCoyle, T.B. McCoyle laid that foundation. So, the answer is a McCoyle report. And the last one is Dash recommendations related to establishment of universities in India. So, we find universities were established during the Governor Generalship of Dalhousie at Calcutta, Madras, and Bombay. So, the recommendations that were made to Dalhousie was mainly whether it is a McCoyle recommendation, Charles Hook recommendation. Hunter recommendation or Fraser recommendation. So the answer is Charles Wood recommendation. So Charles Wood the recommendations 1854 led to the establishment of the universities in India and three universities which were established that is Calcutta, Madras and Bombay universities. So impact of the British rule in India. So living the revenue policies and the other acts which has been deleted from your syllabus as the syllabus is very restricted. So we have mainly <coughs> some part of the administrative impact we have got and the here yeah, education impact that part has been included in this unit 3 the impact of British rule in India. So this is here in your book 1 here the unit 3. So, the remaining three units are 4, 5 and 6, so which we will be discussing here in our different classes and we will try to gather here more questions which will help you for your preparation of the examination and we will continue it in the next session. Thank you.